I think it's been established already that I am South African and we do not celebrate Thanksgiving since that is a very specific holiday celebrated in America. But when I lived in America, I was able to share in two Thanksgivings with the people that were my family at the time. The first Thanksgiving I had was in 2009 and we had taken a trip to Washington DC and I spent about three days solo traveling and sightseeing DC. That trip changed my life in ways that I can't quite explain. It just so happens that on that year, my birthday fell on the day right after Thanksgiving and I traveled to Maryland to join my host family for Thanksgiving and had my birthday celebration as well. While we were in Maryland, we were staying in the grandparents' home and the grandfather was a war vet. I remember being mesmerized by the photos on the wall of him in his youth. The photos hit differently as they were mostly black and white and the young man portrayed in the photos, laughing and smiling, was a stark contrast to the man that was sitting in front of me at the time. He told stories and I quietly listened and even though I didn't have much to say at the time, it didn't mean I wasn't interested. It simply meant that I was taking in the historical stories that he was telling and realizing for the first time really that I was so oblivious to the world around me and the history of different people and how some people lived through events that seemed so distant to most of us. Many years later, I would be living in Xinjiang and travel to South Korea every now and then to kind of give myself a breather from my life at the time. One notable attraction I truly enjoyed was visiting the Korean War Museum and I frequently found myself thinking back on that Thanksgiving and wished that I was less shy at the time and actually spoke to the grandpa more and asked him to tell me a lot more. Sadly, he has since passed, but his legacy lives on through his family. The next day, I joined my friend back in DC and celebrated my 21st birthday by going for a piece of cake and mostly lounging around in our Hilton Hotel bathrobes, thinking we were living the high life. Since that time, I've always enjoyed the idea of celebrating Thanksgiving, even though the holiday doesn't belong to me at all. But somehow I can't help but think that surely celebrating a day where we reflect on everything that we have and should be thankful for isn't a bad thing. So every year in November, I pull out one of my favorite trinkets from my time in the USA, and that is my Thanksgiving turkey. Honestly, I don't know why I love this guy so much, but I really do. So Mr. Turkey sits on the shelf all November and watches us, a constant reminder to be a little more thankful each day and to focus less on what we don't have and more on what we do have. So this Thanksgiving, I want to mention some of the things that I'm thankful for in 2023. I'm thankful that I'm still in Xinjiang 11 years later. I'm thankful that my precious dog, my first ever sidekick, is still here to embrace me with her loyal, undying love every single day. I'm thankful to have the apartment with a big garden that I've dreamt of having since 2014. I'm thankful to be healthy. I'm thankful to have friends around me that support me and care deeply for me. I'm thankful for my family and how everyone has been able to fulfill their different dreams. I'm thankful that my daughter has been accepted as a peer into society and in her school. I'm thankful to have such a smart, energetic and lively girl in my life that makes sure there is never a dull moment. I'm thankful for the struggles I faced in the past 11 years because ultimately those are the things that made me who I am today. And most of all, I want to mention how thankful I am to each and every one of my subscribers who follow our journey in China and always gives encouragement and support. I started this channel during a home quarantine in 2021 to document what that was like and then it turned into something else and I honestly love making videos and sharing it with everyone and I truly hope that this channel will continue to grow into such a lovely community that enjoys our adventures. And now, of course, no Thanksgiving can be complete without a feast. The guard at our community was handing out these warm teas for Thanksgiving. Our lovely friend Sophie once again hosted us for another wonderful meal and we had a real Thanksgiving. Uh, day of the year. <laughs> That's why I like 
like to share with our friends uh, and uh, some people of all friendship. Yes, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I looked out the window, I noticed it had started snowing, and upon going outside, I found a beautiful winter night with big, heavy snowflakes quietly covering the streets with the most picturesque scene. Watching the snow fall from inside the warm and cozy restaurant, surrounded by friends and good food, was the perfect ambience as yet another reminder of how much we have to be thankful for. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone!